student for my rugged appearance, so I'm lagging in school like you wouldn't believe. And I'm trying to wrap it up, and I got training, and weight training, and you know all the different types of training, and videos, and work, and all this other stuff, and I gotta coordinate my team, my new team. You know, and all the boot lickers and informants and cops around as well. So, this is, I should probably should have held this up the whole time. Africa by population density. And the purple, as you can see, is the more dense one. So my argument was the trail of Egypt. Let's follow the trail. Follow the DNA trail. Follow the people of Africa themselves. The most populated nation in Africa is Nigeria. And as you can see, the yellow is low population density in between. So where are the people of Egypt, okay, in relationship to... Look at Egypt. Egypt's on top right there in the purple. So you can tell that the ancient Egyptians migrated to Nigeria. Um, let me show you. Let me show you. You know, let me draw it out for you. You can tell the ancient Egyptians migrated to Nigeria and that they did it the way I said they did it. Okay. Some of them went down, followed the, the rivers, you know, Uganda, Rwanda, um, Ethiopia, Eritrea, these areas, and then they went all the way down to South Africa and back up. Some of them went straight to Nigeria, some of them rested in Chad, some of them rested in Niger, but the majority of them went to Nigeria, making the ancient Egyptians not only black, but Nigerian. You know, they wanted a river like the Nile, you know, similar to the Nile. They wanted landscape similar to the Nile. They followed the Nile River, they followed Satet, and they ended up in the new Egypt, which is Nigeria, not anywhere else. That's why 80% of the slaves came from the coast of Nigeria. They were Yoruba, they were Igbo mostly, many of them. 600,000 plus Igbos were recorded being taken from the coast of Nigeria to America. Most populated. That's where you go for the slaves, where the people are. That's where the people go to trade, where the people are. Now, if you don't understand my point now, you're just a fucking idiot. Shoot yourself. Thank you. Ancient Egyptians were black, like I said in, in Illuminati Part 1. When the, air, when the people migrated from the northeast, they went west. This is Egypt, Nigeria. The invaders came in. Okay, they land on the top. The Niger, the, excuse me, the, uh, the Delta area in Egypt, Egypt Delta, the Nile Delta, they came and these people went down and this way and some of them went here and etc. The ancient Egyptians are black, the Nigerian Igbos are an elite troop of soldiers that picked their ground because it's sacred and have been defending it longer than you can remember. Igbo Uku, mixing with the people. Just like I'm a mixed Igbo, these people are mixed Igbo and they're mixed with Egyptian and many claim Semite and many claim the real Hebrews are Nigerian Igbos. Thank you. But I, you know, I give Ethiopians credit because I really don't know. Thank you. The Igbos are related to the ethnic groups in Africa that are the tallest, but they are not the tallest tribe. So the point that I'm making is not just the average height is important, but if you get too tall, it might not help you, you know, because the Igbos have the most military achievement of any ethnic group, especially if you include their relatives in the islands, in, in Brazil, etc. Thank you. Believe it or not, some people are in denial and they want their people to look good so bad that I really have to spill it out for them. When considering which ethnic group fought the best in history, which some people might not care about, but us warriors definitely care about, especially because our, our style is usually based on our culture and our people, you have to consider the history of modern warfare versus ancient warfare and the military history of the world, obviously. Thank you.